Hey, I'm Adam with the Productivity Academy, and I wanted to talk to you uh, and show you a little bit about MindMeister. Uh, MindMeister is a mind mapping uh, piece of software that's available. Uh, it's browser-based, but you can also get apps for uh, your iPhone, for Android phones. Um, it's basically available just about everywhere. Uh, this is my kind of go-to mind mapping piece of software. Uh, there are others I use, and I certainly think that others have strong points, um, but I'm going to go through uh, basically why I like MindMeister and why I personally use it and I pay for it. Um, and speaking of paying, uh, let's just hop over, because I know that's a question a lot of people have, and for good reason, uh, right off the bat about the um, pricing. So this is really cool, I think, that MindMeister offers a basic account where you can create up to three mind maps, and you can um, you can share, access, you can do all sorts of the normal stuff. The thing you can't do, and I know some people don't like this, is you can't export. Okay, so if you're, you know, going into this saying, okay, I'm going to be, I need, I have to export to PowerPoint or I have to export and export an image without just taking a screenshot, then you're going to want to, you know, sign up for one of the paid plans. Um, just heard that back from a few people that it wasn't readily, uh, or they didn't understand that at the beginning. But um, for me, that was never a problem. I personally don't usually export. I just work within MindMeister to build these mind maps. So i um, not going to concentrate too much on that, but I did want to bring it up in case that's an issue for you. But it's really cool. You can sign up, get instant access. Um, you know, like they said, you get three free mind maps and you can go in and, you know, it's basically unlimited in terms of building the mind maps. And then they've got the other ones just uh, for whatever you need. So when you go up to personal, it's $4.99 a month and you get unlimited in all the rest of these uh, the actual number of mind maps you can create. You can attach files and images. You can do an export to image. You can do PDF export. Um, you can do a lot of stuff. And I believe now it looks like uh, G Suite for domain sign-ins for the pro uh, PowerPoint export at the pro level and some other things you know you may or may not need as a team. So I'll let you decide that for yourself. But you can go to mindmeister.com slash mindmap pricing. So if we go back in here, let's take a look. So once you're logged in, this is kind of what it looks like when you're logged in right at the time of recording. I'm sure there's going to be, you know, UI changes over time, but they have templates. This is really nice. So you can log in and get started really quick and people have contributed. You can, you can find a ton of templates out there. Um, so like brainstorming, a project plan, project management process, SWOT analysis, business plans, just Again, I'm not going to go through all these. You can definitely go in here and check these out and you can see the different colors, the different shapes, the lineups, you know, you can create org charts. So it's really handy to have these so that you obviously don't have to, um, you know, bring uh, everything with you or recreate everything. Really, really handy. So speaking of creating, um, all you would do is go into my maps and create a new one and I'll show you what this looks like. Um, you have the chance you can, you know, again, start with a template. You can start with some different ideas. But if you just say, I want a new map, this is what you get. All right. And so we're just going to call this a test map. And if you create, uh, you can press tab, and that creates a new node. I'm just going to call this node one and one. And then I hit enter, and you get the, uh, the same level. All right. So I just want to show you the basic functionality real quick. And then over here in this corner, you've got a ton of options. So let's say we wanted to, um, you know, switch the uh, font size. We want to, you know, use italics. We want to change the color. Um, we can add all sorts of stuff. If you want to, you can upload an image. Um, so this is nice. For example, I do book reviews and I'll add at the, I'll put the title of the book and then add a, or upload an image of the uh, cover of the book. So handy reminders, or you could just upload as an attachment, you know, again, if you're using this for some sort of project management, whatever works for you. And then down here, we just have things where we could um, add a priority number, right? So if we wanted to add something, potentially, if it's not in order, or you're moving things around because you can click and drag. So for example, we could put that as a sub element, or we could stick it in the middle. So you're able to switch things around. There's a, there's a lot of flexibility here. Um, which is great. And then the, the, to me, the other side of that as well is it's really simple to get started. Like you just saw, you don't have to use, uh, you know, colors and changing the fonts and all that. You can just boom, get going. Um, and it's really easy to use click and drag, you know, pretty simple. So let's say we've got something like this. I'm just going to build out a couple more, call this node two, give it a few more, uh, items here and then one more. Okay, now what I wanna go into is talking about uh, presenting. So let me move my face here. 
And then when you click on this down here, you can set up a presentation and this gets pretty neat. So you again, have a couple options. You can auto create or you can kind of manually go do this. So I'm just gonna click on auto create a presentation and it goes through and numbers and things without going into this. I'm just gonna show you what it does. I think it'll be pretty self apparent how you can alter this if you need to. So let's start the slideshow. Okay, so this just again, it's gonna go in. Uh, if you remember, this was labeled number one. It's obviously starting out at the center. You can click next and it goes over to whatever was labeled number two, then to number three, which is gonna show these. Okay, and then so on and so forth. Uh, so I'm gonna stop the slideshow. And if you want to, you could, um, you can, you know, arrange this differently. So let's say if on number two, we wanted to show just the node and not all the sub nodes. There's a lot of flexibility again, but it does a good job on its own. And this can be handy for obviously some sort of presentation. You could use it for webinars. You could use it um, at work. You could use it uh, for employees. There's a ton of options here. Really, uh, really powerful a feature that they added. I don't remember honestly, but it's been in there for a little while now. So they've definitely polished it. And you can go in here and, you know, click and remove. Uh, you could change, you can add your own. If you wanted to, you know, um, add one maybe to the whole thing, like here we go. So if we wanted to do an overview at some point, so slide five would show the whole thing. So pretty, uh, pretty powerful feature. So in terms of using uh, MindMeister uh, with other pieces of uh, other pieces, in terms of MindMeister versus different pieces of software, like I said at the beginning, I personally think that it's a really powerful tool. Uh, I think hopefully just this quick example kind of shows you the flexibility and the simplicity, uh, which I like, but I also appreciate that behind that simplicity, there's a lot of options that really make this much more powerful. And so if you're using this, um, you know, versus Lucidchart, things like MindJet, uh, man, there's MindNode, MyDomo, there's a ton of mind mapping tools. I'm not going to tell you that one's better than the other, but I highly suggest you check out MindMeister if you haven't uh, for the reasons I laid out. I think that maybe one of uh, the, uh, if you're doing a lot of like org charts or top down uh, type of charts, I find that those aren't quite as easy and there's definitely ways to do it in here. Uh, and I would use the templates for the like org charts where they have more of a top down orientation. Uh, that will help you get started. I think that was one of my hangups years ago when I got started on this. I think I've been using MindMeister since 2013 or 2014. Um, but other than that, you know, I just really, again, like the simplicity, it's click and drag. You can add or not add uh, as much as you need. You can use uh, folders to collect and organize all of your mind maps. And then there's a bunch of features too that if this is interesting to you, you could look into this for things. Uh, they have mind, um, <laughs> trying to think what it is. Everything starts with a mind with them, but it's like a task meister, I think. So maybe it doesn't start with a mind, but they, they've evolved a lot of features. Um, so they're, you know, you can share maps, you can, um, they have a task based system you can look into. But again, I just want to concentrate on the core feature of mind mapping. So hopefully this is useful to you. Um, if you have any questions or uh, any uh, comments about MindMeister and how you could use it or uh, how you might want to use it or if it would work for you, feel free to leave a comment and uh, be happy to get back to you.